So if you've been following Nintendo for years, you know that the Switch has been a big system and we were expecting some kind of Switch Pro for a long time. But then whether it was due to the chip shortage or that was already the initial intention, the Switch OLED came out and that was not a Pro model in terms of power. It was essentially the same Switch, but with some quality of life improvements like the nicer screen, more internal storage, etc. Now, why am I bringing this up in a video about Mario Kart 9? Because this move combined with the latest Nintendo Direct has pretty much cemented my thoughts on what is going to be happening with Mario Kart, which of course is a prediction based on past events, but it has changed my complete perspective. Because you see, if there was a Switch Pro that actually did 4K that was still the same Switch, then we would have that easy argument of, okay, we're going to get the 4K version of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on the Switch Pro, and then with the Switch 2, we get Mario Kart 9 or 10 if they decide to call it 10 and consider tall to be the nine variant. But the combination of us getting a Switch OLED plus this latest Nintendo Direct means that I'm pretty much convinced that we're not gonna be seeing a Mario Kart 9 slash 10 for a long time, potentially not even until 2030. Now, why am I saying this? Now, something you need to know is that Mario Kart is huge. When I say huge, I mean like Mario Kart is going to be bigger than Mario, okay? Mario Kart 8 slash Deluxe, as in both the Wii U and Switch version together, is the second highest selling Mario game of all time not mario kart mario game according to wikipedia it is the seventh highest selling game of all time with over 51 million units sold it is the highest selling switch game of all time and right above it is the original super mario bros which is at six which has sold 58 million units now remember the original super mario bros is still selling they still sell that game especially with like re-releases and things like that i mean with nintendo switch online it's probably being just added as part of a package but as recently as like the wii u eShop, you could buy that game and of course it being an older game means they can charge a lot less for it and rack up the unit sales but Mario Kart 8 is still being sold at a pretty high price especially if you're buying it digitally from the Switch eShop instead of buying it physically the only Nintendo game to sell more than Mario Kart 8 Deluxe in the original Super Mario Bros is Wii Sports which was a pack-in title so essentially Mario Kart 8 is the most lucrative Mario game ever made and basically the most lucrative Nintendo game because it has a whole range of DLC right I mean there's people like my Myself who bought Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U, then bought the DLC on the Wii U, which was, I believe, four cups, as well as some additional content like the Mercedes Benz and things like that. Then they released Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which included all the DLC, and this was for the Nintendo Switch, bumped up the performance from the 720p 60 FPS of the Wii U to 1080p 60 FPS on the Switch. And of course, we're gonna buy that, right? Because there was no Mario Kart 9. So they essentially got another full price sale from a lot of people people simply by just not making a 9 and just re-releasing 8. And the memes are starting to roll in, people are starting to say that Mario Kart 8 was basically Nintendo's GTA 5, and to some degree it kind of was, but it wasn't as bad as GTA 5, right? Until this latest Nintendo Direct, because this has pretty much told me that they are willing to milk this for a long time. Now, I'm not upset at the fact that we're getting remastered tracks in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, in fact I'm looking forward to more content in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I think it does make sense for them to not make another Mario Kart for the Switch since they've already milked 8 Deluxe for so long and I wanted to see a new Mario Kart with the superior hardware that the Switch 2 would bring. Now we're not going to be seeing the Switch 2 until late 2023 at the earliest, most likely not until 2024, which is seven years after the original Switch came out in 2017. Which I mean, seven years makes sense for console generation, especially a console that is actually performing well and not something like the Wii U, which they moved to the Switch after like five years or even slightly less than that. And yes, the Wii U was a failure, so I can excuse used them wanting to milk Mario Kart 8 for the Switch because it was a great Mario Kart, it just needed some ironing out, like a better battle mode, being able to hold a second power up, etc, etc, and essentially Mario Kart 8 Deluxe became the definitive Mario Kart. But with this new booster course pass DLC, I'm now convinced that they really aren't going to make Mario Kart 9 anytime soon. I mean, the leaks talking about Mario Kart 9 being revealed soon essentially was just this booster course pack right? 48 tracks coming in six waves, eight tracks per wave, all remastered from past Mario Kart games. But what really makes this interesting is they're going to be spreading out these waves up until the end of 2023. And you can purchase all the waves in advance, although you still have to wait until the release date, but you can purchase them all in advance for $24.99 and then you will get them when they come out. Now, remember that I mentioned that the Switch 2 would likely come out at late 2023 at the earliest, but most likely 2024, which is just right after 
after these six waves are now going to be done releasing. So tell me, what do you think is more likely when this Switch 2 comes out? Brand new Mario Kart 9 for full price? Or take Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, add in all the extra DLC that they just added, the six waves, include it in the package, and then charge 60 bucks for that and say, this is the definitive version of Mario Kart 8 with all the content. This is Mario Kart 8 Super Deluxe. And oh yeah, by the way, it's on the Switch 2 exclusively. This is now a 4K version of Mario Kart because naturally the Switch 2 is going to do 4K. Obviously not on every game, definitely not on AAA stuff. But for something like Mario Kart 8, it's likely not going to need any trickery to hit that 4K target for the Switch 2 because it's an old game that came from the Wii U. So they could essentially just repeat what they did before with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. You had Mario Kart 8, base game for the Wii U, then there was DLC for some years, then they said we're going to package all the DLC into the Switch version for one full price cost. So for anyone who had Mario Kart 8 on Wii U, you're basically just paying for the same game again, but at 1080p with a few new features. Here comes the Switch 2, now we add in the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC, add in 4K, and sell that to you at full price, and you're going to have to pay for Switch Online to even go online and play now, more money, maybe we'll add a few extra features for the Switch 2 version aside from the 4k they included dlc who knows what else they could add at this point i don't know but why would they even want to make a mario kart 9 at that point if they're going to charge the same full price for that mario kart 9 that they would be able to charge for mario kart 8 deluxe with this dlc like when i remove my own self who wants a new mario kart from the equation i don't see why they would even justify making a mario kart 9 right now if they just got this whole dlc rollout to add essentially what's going to be what 100 tracks in mario kart 8 deluxe once this is done if not 100 almost 100 they're essentially turning Mario Kart 8 into Mario Kart Ultimate. They would literally have to do so much work with the Mario Kart 9 for it to even come close to the amount of content that's in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe right now, let alone once the DLCs finally rolled out. And if the Switch 2 is a hit and it does another seven years after coming out in say 2024, you are looking at 2031 before the next next Switch, aka the Switch 3 if they keep making Switches. And there's a good chance that they will keep making Switches because handhelds are taking off. I mean, look at the Steam Deck. Handheld game and it's becoming the wave and as long as you can still dock it and play it by a tv why go back to a full fat console when the handle thing is working so well for nintendo they would essentially have a whole nother generation of hardware to milk mario kart 8 deluxe with this repackaged version including the dlc and then after that once there's really nothing else they can add then they give us the next mario kart with the switch 3 which assuming the switch 2 does well we won't see the switch 3 until the 2030s at the earliest now you might be thinking this sounds ridiculous right they wouldn't do that i mean the switch 2 there's some rumors that it's going to be backwards compatible so maybe you could just play the switch version of mario kart 8 deluxe on your switch 2 but there's also rumors suggesting that it won't be backwards compatible so that's currently a toss-up right now right and even if it is kind of backwards compatible will it support the original switch cartridges we have to buy the game digitally if you had a physical version before i mean backwards compatibility would be a huge selling point for the switch 2 as a console and it's possible they could do what sony did with the playstation 5 like if we look at spider-man you can play the ps4 version of spider-man on your ps5 and it will just run the same way the ps4 version did which was 30 fps with a weaker resolution but then you have to pay for the remastered version to get the better performing version albeit with the inferior face but still overall as a game the better version so in the best case scenario, you could still play the original Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on your Switch 2, but it's going to be capped at 1080p, but the new version is going to have shiny new graphical enhancements and run at 4K60, maybe even a couple new characters and tracks that will just make people go, you know what, it's Mario Kart, just buy it again, okay? But even if there was no backwards compatibility and you had to buy it again, Nintendo would still get away with it because they have no competition when it comes to kart races. I mean, look, I love Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel, one of the greatest kart races ever made, but I don't think it even moved more than 10 million units and that's a multiplayer compared to Mario Kart 8 being stuck on Nintendo hardware and we know how companies work when the competition is low they get complacent right now the quickest way for us to get Mario Kart 9 would be for some other company to make a car racer that is selling so close to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe or Mario Kart 8 sales in total that Nintendo go okay we need to step it up and until that happens my honest assessment of the situation is that we are going to be seeing another generation of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe being milked with some kind of update 
support before we eventually get the next big one. Now, I hope I'm wrong because I mean, I want a brand new Mario Kart. I want them to push graphical boundaries. I want them to do something new and crazy, but I am an adult who's been playing Mario Kart 8 since 2014, which was eight years ago. And Mario Kart isn't just made for adults. A lot of kids getting into gaming will play Mario Kart and they'll get their parents to buy it for them. So there will always be new people ready to buy it. And there's even people who've been playing it since 2014 who still think the game hasn't gone stale yet. Even if you've been playing the game since 2014 and you think it's gotten stale, there's people who weren't alive in 2014 who are turning seven now and they are buying Mario Kart 8 Deluxe or well, their parents are. So with Nintendo's dominance over the kart racing genre, just like GTA, which used to release main titles more frequently and then eventually slowed down, I feel like this is just inevitable at this point. Now, again, I would love to see Mario Kart 9 sooner rather than later, but Mario Kart 8 is a great game that is still selling really well. And unless the sales start to decline rapidly, I'm just not going to get my hopes up for something that clearly seems like it makes no business sense at this point. But I guess only time will tell, man. Let me know what you guys think about this topic. Do you believe that we're still going to get Mario Kart 9 at the start of the Switch 2 life cycle around 2024? Or do you believe we're going to get that re-release of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe with the Booster Course DLC included? And then they milk that until the early 2030s with the Switch 3. But yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. More content coming soon to the channel. But it is your boy, Rem. Remulus, Rem Gang. And I'm out.